everyone welcome to part two of this video making an Ankara wax print jacket I am really excited I'm almost done and I'm very pleased at how this jacket is turning out I just have to say I am really thankful that I took the time to make not just one but two mock-ups for this jacket I see the results I see the benefits in making two mock-ups and I'm just very pleased with the results and even though it's not completed um, I did try on the top portion of the jacket and it fits just so wonderfully I love the way that it fits on my biceps especially so today is day four and I have a list of things to do before the project is completed. So uh, really all I need to do is um, attach the collar and then also the peplum to the jacket. And I also need to, um, before I attach the collar and the peplum to the jacket, I need to serge everything inside the jacket. So I need to serge the the seams basically the side seams the uh, the seams of the arm the underarm um, so I'm going to search everything and the reason why I have decided to use my serger instead of using like bias binding or a zigzag stitch or any other finishings like that is because the fabric the printed fabric the wax print fabric frays a lot now this is not normal among wax print fabrics So I decided to just go ahead and, and surge everything. So I'm definitely going to do that and that's one of my first steps. And then after that I'll attach the peplum and then the last step would be to attach the collar as well. And then after I attach the peplum and the collar I also need to surge those areas too. So with any luck uh, this project will be done today and I will be able to post this video real soon. So I apologize that I had to uh, break the video up into two parts. Um, it is quite long and I apologize for that. Uh, the reason why I have two parts and the reason why it's so long is because I've decided to try to include as much detail as possible. Because this is the first video of the series, I did want to uh, give you a taste of uh, what I'm doing behind the scenes in the future it might not be so much it might not I might not include so much detail in the future uh, but I did want you to be able to see how I work with these prints and also uh, what I do to adjust my patterns as well so I thank you so much for being patient and for uh, supporting the channel and uh, stay tuned for the final reveal All right, so I just finished serging most of the jacket on the inside, most of the seams. So I have my sleeves serged and the back bodice is serged as well as the front bodice. I'm just gonna give those one final press so it looks all nice and clean and lay flat on the inside. And then I have to assemble the jacket together so that it 
comes together and it actually looks like a jacket. So right now, I don't have the underarm seam together. So that's what I have to go back and do. I'm going to take this here, these two pieces here. I have to put them together with right size facing and um, stitch that going all the way down because this is the, the arm, the underarm sleeve here. And I have to stitch that going all the way down. And because it is a raglan sleeve, it's going to attach to the bodice um, like so. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch that together with right size facing. And then I am going to serge those sides as well. And then I can put the peplum on. Yes, I am almost finished with this project. Um, once I put the peplum on, I can serge the inside of the peplum as well after I stitch the peplum together to the back bodice and the front bodice. I can serge the inside of the peplum and then put on the collar and then I would be done with this project. All right, so before I do all that, I want to show you, after I stitch this together, I'm going to show you how this fits on my body. So uh, with any luck, it'll fit just like the second mock-up uh, muslin fit on my body. So let me go ahead and stitch this together and then I will stand against my backdrop and you can see how it looks on me right now before I add the peplum and the collar. All right, everyone, look, look at the jacket. It looks so wonderful. I was really nervous there for a minute. Um, because I didn't use the contrast sleeves and I thought that using the printed sleeves were going to be a disaster. Um, as you saw in the earlier part of the video, I was concerned about the lines on the jacket not matching up at the seams. But look at this. It is just so great. I really love it, guys. I love the color. I like the contrast color. You know, I like the... Uh, black against the red and then also wearing this black shirt really makes it stand out also I just I'm so in love with this jacket um, now I have motivation to continue going on and and to complete the jacket so I still have to put the collar on and I also have to put the um, the peplum on as well but other than that um, those two pieces I put those two pieces on and then I am done with the project so this is definitely a sewing make that um, has made me feel really accomplished um, and I'm just glad that I was able to do this uh, project and I'm just just glad to be starting the African print series to be honest with you um, because I'm just, I've been dying for the last couple of months to make this series. And so now that I have, I'm just so much more um, elated because I see the results and I see um, how wonderful um, uh, this is turning out. And I'm just really excited to push forward with this series, guys. Let me turn around so you can see the back of the garment as well. So that's the back of the garment. So the main part of the jacket is going to be all in this printed color and then the collar is going to be in black and then the peplum is going to be in black as well. So those are the two pieces that I chose for my contrast and I am just excited to get this completed and done.
Okay, the peplum is together. I have both the printed piece and the contrast piece aligned together and I'm just going to go ahead and baste everything together so it stays in place. And then after that, I am going to sew three eighths of an inch um, for my hem allowance on each the back and the front of the peplum. So I have to attach the back and the front of the peplum together. And then I'm going to do that with the 3 8 inch seam allowance. So I'm going to do that and then I can attach the peplum to the bottom of the jacket. Hello everyone, here is another update of my progress of the jacket. I am now attaching the peplum, but I realized that I made a mistake. And I can tell that I am coming closer to the end of this project because I am making more mistakes. That seems to be uh, something that always happens to me. So... If you look here, so this is the side seam of the jacket. And as you can see, the seams match up really well. Unfortunately, I have to unpick all of this. I have to take the peplum off because I forgot to hem the bottom. Okay, so I took all the pieces apart. And even though it's been, what, a couple of seconds for you, it's been about 35 to 40 minutes for me. So I removed the lining from the printed fabric and then I went ahead and I created uh, the seams for each the peplum's main or the lining piece. So this is going to be the lining and this is going to be the outside fabric or the outside of the garment. So I created those two pieces. And so now all I have to do is, so I'm going to align these seams together. After I do all that, I am going to take it to the machine and I'm going to stitch this at the bottom here at three quarters of an inch going all the way across. I'll flip that over after I stitch that together and I will uh, press it down and, and that will be my hem for the bottom of the peplum. And I'm going to do the same thing with the collar. So at both ends of the collar, I'm going to stitch them across at five eighths of an inch, or no, three eighths of an inch seam allowance and then I will go ahead and attach it to the lapel or attach it to the neckline of the of the jacket and then also to the peplum and I'll be done.
Hey YouTube fam, here it is, the finished Ankara jacket. It is so gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and take a minute and show you how it turned out. So let's start with the inside of the garment. I'm really excited about the inside of the garment. So I have to show you that before I forget. So I finished all the seams. And as you can see, um, the Ankara print, it has, uh, it's printed on both sides. So if I wanted to, I could have made this into a reversible jacket, but um, I'll probably do something like that in the future. Um, I'm in love with this jacket. Um, I love the pattern. So I'm still debating on whether or not I like it with the uh, purchase belt. Uh, I'm thinking about doing a self uh, fabric belt to go with it. I think it'll look better. I just feel like because there's some extra fabric here, because it's not fitted, um, wearing the fitted belt just doesn't really work for me. Um, so I think I might not go with the <laughs> with the fitted uh, purchase belt. You guys tell me in the comment section below, what do you think of my first Ankara make um, and uh, this video for this African print series. I thank you so much for tuning into the channel and for commenting. And for those of you who follow me on Instagram, thank you so much for the compliments and the high praises. I posted a picture of this uh, make on Instagram and I got so much feedback and people were just so excited to see the finished results. Thank you so much for your wonderful comments and for supporting me and for all of you here for the YouTube fam. Thank you so much as well and for tuning into the channel and until next time, stay creative.